A Bar in Toledo, The Untold Story of a Mafia Frontman and a Grammy-Winning Song by Dominic Viana tells the gripping tale of Johnny the Crooner Ritchie, a small-time singer turned Mafia Frontman, and his unexpected contribution to one of the most iconic songs in music history. The book begins with the modest roots of Johnny Ritchie, detailing his childhood in a working-class Italian-American neighborhood in Toledo, Ohio. From a young age, Johnny showed an exceptional talent for singing, and by his late teens, he was performing at local bars and clubs, dreaming of making it big like his idol, Frank Sinatra. Life, however, had other plans for Johnny. His rise to fame was cut short when he was forced to drop out to support his family after his father's untimely death. Struggling to make ends meet, Johnny's life took a dramatic turn when he crossed paths with the Luciano crime family. The mobsters recognized his charisma and talent and recruited him to manage one of their bars, which was a front for their illegal operations. This bar, located in the heart of Toledo, became a hotspot for the city's underworld, offering Johnny a front-row seat to the inner workings of organized crime. Johnny was attractive and smooth with a golden voice, allowing him to charm the bar's clientele, which included powerful figures in the mafia. Despite the lavish lifestyle that came with his new role, Johnny could never shake his love for music. His late-night crooning in the bar attracted a small but devoted following. Eventually, his talent caught the attention of a down-on-his-luck songwriter, Tommy Vecchio, who frequented the bar to drown his sorrows and find inspiration. Vecchio had once thrived in the music industry, but found himself in a rut after a series of personal and professional disasters. Johnny's voice and the unique atmosphere at the mafia-run bar ignited Vecchio's creative spark. He began to pen lyrics, capturing the essence of the establishment's patrons and the raw emotion that filled the smoky confines of the bar. Johnny and Vecchio formed an unlikely alliance, drawn together by their shared love for music and aspiration for redemption. As they spent nights discussing life, music, and their aspirations, Vecchio wrote what was to be a career-defining song. The lyrics painted a vivid picture of the people who drifted in and out of the bar, seeking solace in the bottom of a glass or the brief connection with a stranger. The duo, realizing the commercial potential of the song, decided to take a gamble. Johnny used his mafia connections to secure funding and studio time for a professional recording. Meanwhile, Vecchio tapped into his music industry contacts to stir interest in their creation. As the song came to life, Johnny poured his soul into the recording, his voice carrying years of unfulfilled dreams and the weariness of a life lived in the shadows of the mob. The song resonated with early listeners, and it wasn't long before a major record label took notice. With the combination of Johnny's arresting vocals and Vecchio's evocative lyrics, they landed a deal that would bring the song to audiences nationwide. The song quickly climbed the charts, encapsulating the mood of the era and speaking to the hearts of many. Johnny, now in his 40s, experienced the stardom he had longed for since his youth. As he toured and performed on television shows, the public became enamored with his humble story and undeniable talent. However, despite the song's success, Johnny's ties to the mafia remained a constant presence in his life. As the song garnered critical acclaim, earning a Grammy and solidifying its place in music history, the Mafia sought to capitalize on Johnny's fame. They pressured him to involve them in his newfound success, threatening the safety of his family and forcing Johnny to balance his public image with his obligations to the mob. The clash between Johnny's desire for a clean career and his indebtedness to the underworld became a central conflict casting a shadow over the euphoria of his rise to fame. Johnny realized he could never truly escape the life he had once thought was his savior. The Mafia's menacing grip threatened to derail his career and even his life as they demanded a share of his earnings and increased their control over his actions. With the Mafia increasingly intertwining with his musical success, Johnny faced an impossible situation. He understood that defying the mob could lead to dire consequences, yet he yearned for the legitimacy and pure joy that music brought to his life. Torn between two worlds, Johnny's internal struggle reflected the somber undertones of the song that had brought him fame, one that spoke of lost potential and the search for redemption in a merciless world. 
The book reaches its climax as Johnny is forced to make an excruciating decision. Confronted by the FBI, who had long been investigating the Luciano family's activities, Johnny found himself caught between his loyalty to the mob and the possibility of securing his freedom from their clutches. In a dramatic turn of events, Johnny chose to cooperate with the authorities, providing crucial information that would dismantle significant parts of the Luciano network. The fallout from Johnny's cooperation was swift and severe. The Mafia marked him as a traitor, setting in motion a series of retribution acts that endangered Johnny's life and those of his loved ones. Forced into witness protection, Johnny said a painful goodbye to the career he had so briefly enjoyed and disappeared from the public eye. The book's final chapters detail the bittersweet aftermath of Johnny's decision. While law enforcement hailed him as a hero, the mob denounced him as a rat. Johnny's legacy became a cautionary tale of the high price of fame and the seductive yet destructive power of the Mafia. Dominic Viana narrates a layered, humanizing portrayal of Johnny Ritchie and the explosive era in which he lived. A Bar in Toledo doesn't only recount the tale of a Grammy-winning song, but also invites readers to reflect on the broader themes of ambition, moral compromise, and the elusive American dream. It's a narrative deeply rooted in historical events and personal struggles, compelling in its authenticity and poignant in its human drama. Viana's writing captures the soul of an era when music could define the culture's consciousness and when an individual's choices could seal their fate, offering a fascinating glimpse into a story untold until now. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.